perfect. Well, this is it. I'm ready. Oh, you're ready? We're not missing out on that. But we only have one unit. So we combine easy. Combine? Wait, you're all gonna go in there to try to become one with the AI core, and that way you guys can pretty much be like a a badass cyborg? What is up guys? We are back with some more CF Stars. We just finished taking out the catalyst and out popped this AI core. And it's saying that it was working pretty much against its will. Do we believe that? Maybe, as long as it can help us out. So we're just gonna listen out and see, you know, what all it could do for us. What is up guys? We're back with some more CS stars and we just finished taking out the catalyst. The boss fight was pretty, pretty fun actually, no, not gonna lie there. Uh, we had to fight through like two walls of like uh, missiles, bombs, healing things, whatever. Uh, and the catalyst turns out, it has this AI core that popped out saying that it wasn't really evil. It was working against its will. Uh, we're gonna see if that's actually true, but for now we're gonna hear it out, see what it has to say, and hopefully it can help us out on our journey. Can you help stop the clouds? Believe me, I wish I could. But alas, the only function I have access to is the one used to attach souls to machines. How convenient. <laughs> My databank does contain plenty of schematics related to Skybase, however. Can you give them to us? I'm afraid everything is encrypted. Access is virtually impossible. I get it, virtually impossible? Oh yeah? I wonder if I just... Add it to the storybook? <laughs> it worked? Hmm. So just a bunch of documentation and intricate designs. There's nothing in here about operating the console directly. Tech-savvy engineers may infer a core function based on blueprints and schematics. Recommended action, find someone smarter. Wow! The audacity! <laughs> hey, how about Kyle and his friends at the Clockwork Castle? They're pretty good at this kind of stuff, right? But how are we gonna get back? Oh wait, we can go through the, uh, the Sea of Stars in the middle, right? I guess like, we're not stuck here for a bit? I don't know, I don't know why I thought we were stuck here. Worth the shot. It's a lead, maybe they can hack into the AI core too. You're coming with us. Please be gentle. <laughs> He's like, please, please. <laughs> okay, my time to return, or okay, time to return to our home world for a bit. The entrance to the Sea of Stars is to the southeast of the Sacrosanct Spires. There's a speedball station close to it too. Let us make haste. Nothing to explore in here though. Would have been nice if they had like a rainbow conch here for us to, to interact with. But yeah, we fucked this thing up. Rest and save up as usual before we move on. At this point, they should have just made it a quicker way to get all the way here instead of us just like running straight through. Hey, how have you been? My condolences, by the way. If leaving the castle wasn't a destined for us, we would have attended the ceremony. It's okay, don't worry about it. We need your help. Sure, what's the situation? It's a long story. Something about a machine. Oh, I love stories. Machines too, in fact. Let's hear it. Back in Sarai's world, a lot of shit went down. So it turns out Sarai is a cyborg, if you can't tell now, because, uh, you know, she's not wearing her bandana. But we fought an AI core that turns out it's not actually evil, was just working against its will and has encryption going on in it. Blah, 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 blah. And reconnecting the sun and the moon is our only chance of taking down the Dweller of Dread. I see. That's why we had to make so many condensers. And the Catalyst Kernel, I never thought I'd get to see it for myself. I beg your pardon, but that's AI Corps. I have no voluntary ties to the Catalyst. We understand you can't leave this castle, but we were hoping you could find some way to help. There's always a way, but we'll need some time. Oh, and I'll need the Lore Grimoire too. Hmm. Just rip out the pages you need. I can't risk being unable to record something while you work. We'll get started right away. Can you give us a few days? 
whatever you need. We can take this opportunity to visit some old friends. Run along then. We'll be ready when you return. So are we going back to uh, Mirth? Gather around everyone. We have a lot on our plate. Who's... Hmm. Who are we visiting? Or are they just going to speed run the, the time, the three days? And here. Access granted. It worked. Good job, Kyle. Ha. And now we have access to the top secret Catalyst Blueprints too. Extract everything. On it. Please be gentle. Is that like it's catchphrase now? Please be gentle. Maybe. Oh, this is who we were visiting? Was... Was Garl? So this is the Warrior Cook's resting place. Yes, he always loved this tree. He once made some very tasty jam using its sap. Carl always made sure to prepare something for us. He sounds like a good friend. The best. So are you saying your only function was attaching souls to machines? Everything was automated. I never understood why it had to be made sentient. The whole thing was quite unsettling. Just another cruel joke. Well, you're free now. Might be time for a fresh start. Oh, this idea is truly pleasing. You were right. Everything combined into the missing pieces we were looking for. Great, let's start building double time. Hmm. The AI core is now going to be uh, a good guy working with those kids that are stuck being 10 forever. I can't believe my eyes. I wish I had conversed with Rashan a bit more. His understanding of alchemy is unprecedented. Does it hurt when you get hit? Not in a physical way. It tugs at my mind, but my resolve is absolute. Most interesting. Hmm. I should put in a word for you. A word? After this journey is over, you may find yourself in search of meeting. Should that time come, seek the Elder Mist. The Elder Mist. Oh yeah, that's right, because like, your... The glass, like, bottle thing is only gonna last as long as his, like, resolve is absolute. That's what Rashawn was saying, so... Once his mission's over, he would disappear. It should only take a few seconds anyway, right? Oh, I am not too sure that this is a good idea. Come on, it's for a good cause for once. You've seen the instructions too, there's no way they'll be able to reprogram Skybase on their own. So they made like their own version of this machine, but is it gonna work the opposite way? Can it make uh, cyborgs back to being organic beings, maybe? They can't do it. You know this is the only way. <laughs> You do this, this, or you do this one thing first, and I promise we will give you a new form. Come on, we want to save a world together. I suppose so. All right, plus our design is pretty slick. You'll see. Load it up. On it. Good morning. Sleep is so much better here in Mirth. It's been a couple of days. Kyle should be done by now. Right, let's go check on him. It's just like Sarai to so be like, let's get to the point already. <laughs> get as much stuff as we can. We can sell this craft stuff. Perfect. Well, this is it. I'm ready. Oh, you're ready? We're not missing out on that. But we only have one unit. So we can buy an easy. 
combine. Wait, you're all gonna go in there to try to become one with the AI core, and that way you guys can pretty much be like a a badass cyborg. We've always been together. No way are we letting you leave on your own. But in there, we'll. There's plenty of room for all of us. A shared conscience. That'll do some good, Kyle. You've always been too serious. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Are you sure? We can't walk it back. You don't think we've been talking? You're not the only one who wants to help the Solstice Warriors. And what if you can't do it on your own? <laughs> These guys are like really good friends. I guess all like the centuries of them being stuck in this tower makes sense. Okay. Engage primary function. It's time. We can do this. Man, I feel like this is gonna hurt. Courage, everyone together. Ah. And this is a way for them to leave now too. They couldn't have waited until we got here first just to tell us what the plan was though. Kyle? They they built another catalyst? Nah, this one's different though. Anyone here? Huh? Hey, a little help please. What are you gonna call yourself? The release button. We should have put it in here, not on the outside. Major oversight. Not too bad, all things considered. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> I don't see a release button. Oh, is that the big guy? Punch the pod really hard. Okay. It's like a clock. It's like, or not? A, well, it looks like a clock to me, but it has like all this extra stuff on it. That's better. Vision works perfectly. Smell too. Sorry. <laughs> Kale? Uh, yes. So you're Kyle? Well, partly. This could become a problem. We should unite. New name? Single name. Single speaker. Kyle should lead. Yes. Well? Oh, I know. Yes. Agreed. Okay, time for our big introduction. Don't forget the pose at the end. This better be a good name, y'all. Yes, you have to do the thing. Do the thing. I know, I know. <laughs> for long, we have toiled, honing our craft and perfecting our art. Countless wasted days led to a moment where finally, aboard our own creation, we can be free from this time prison. Together as one, we will live on, our creations serving the good of the people, and also the kicking up evil butts. I am Retribution. I am the ultimate engineer. I am Genius Incarnate. I am... The Artificer! Wait, so you're all in there? <laughs> that was so cool. Or Artificer. I think Artificer. Yeah. Shh, let KL do the talking. 
Long live the Artificer. Nice to meet you, Artificer. That's a good name. Thanks, everyone. Hey, so we only thought you'd review some blueprints for us. Well, one thing led to another, and a path to freedom appeared so well, I mean, I, I took it. Plus, I must go by myself in any case. The task ahead is way too complex for you lot. No offense. I won't be at Battle Unit anytime soon, but I can hack Skybase, all right. Just take me there and I will stop the clouds for you. Thanks, Artie. Already got a nickname. Ha, <laughs> ah, we got a nickname already. This new life is too good. Hey, don't talk. Oh, my bad. Okay, I'll just do the legs. Dibs on the camera. Hey, we should offer to go before it gets awkward. Right. Sorry about that. Please lead the way. Artificer joins the cargo. Okay. Let's go, Artie. That's pretty dope, though. Like, this story just keeps having, like, new twists and turns on it. And I'm loving that they actually helped these guys get out of that clockwork tower. So now they're not, you know, stuck with that curse of, if you leave, you die, 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 die. How about faking this packet? Good thinking, Spike. And now here. Too easy. This can't be it already. Just try operating a door and we'll know. Oh, there's the other security layer. <laughs> It'll take more than that to stop us. How about this socket? On it. Credentials decrypted. Obvious fakes. Hey, look at that. Oh yeah, blatant weaknesses. Simple marshalling job and... We're in. Now, to disengage the cloud emitters. Hey, let's make it rain on the Fleshmancer's castle while we're at it. <laughs> That'll ruin his day. <laughs> it will take a while for them to fully disperse, but let's make sure the first ray of sun hits just right. And done. Good work, everyone. This background, like, sound reminds me of Digimon World 2 for some reason. Which, I never even freaking finished that on my channel. Oh my god, I'm slacking. Digimon World 2, Digimon World 3. I don't... Wait, I don't think I did Digimon World 3 on my channel. I need to. I need to go through and do Digimon World 1, 2, and 3. We're not doing 4, because 4 is, like, some other shit that I know you guys aren't going to be interested in, because I'm barely interested in it. It's just, like, a dungeon crawler different from world two because this one is like you're a digimon fighting with a weapon and you have to complete certain challenges in order to even digivolve to basically mega form which is a hassle in itself i can feel my power surging you did it artificer <laughs> i'm the best hey do the thing we're gonna pose oh right oh Yes, I did it. We finally have a shot. Artie, thank you so much. Hey, don't mention it. It was the right thing to do, plus it got us out of our prison. Well said, and well done. I feel strong enough to go after the Dweller of Dread now. How about you, Zale? Oh yeah, time for a cleansing. But what about getting the, the moon? Yeah. It flares by the moon. We can sail close to it and dive down. Okay. But guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. We got the Artificer, which is a pretty badass character. It's a combination of like, what, like six people? Six of those kid tinkerers and one. Uh, we took down nothing, actually. I think it was like a lot of just dialogue here, actually. A lot of cutscenes and dialogue. But hopefully we'll have more action to get into. So, you know, I'll catch you guys later. Stay sharp. Peace.